So today, or the afternoon of the day where I went running, um, was really nice. Where, first of all, I ate loads of amazing food. Went to this, like, delicious brunch place where it was, like, duck fat, like, on potatoes and, like, a duck fat hash, which was delicious. And then for five dollars, you could also get a maple syrup pancake on the side, which I did, which was also delicious. So the food in this country is brilliant. Um, and then following that, kind of went for a walk around this really nice marketplace, um, which was obviously, like, funny that it was a bit different. Uh, guns if... loud signs kicking around the place, uh, but also, like, it was just a very nice marketplace. There was also a great collection of uh, quite silly things. <laughs> Novelty plates. And really nice just indoor food markets with quite a wacky selection of stuff. Oh, and if you're wondering, I bought that novelty plate. Three dollars well spent. Following that, uh, I drove with Chan and her boyfriend to this bit of Virginia, uh, which is very nearby, which has kind of like lots of nice colonial era history. So we went around an old apothecary and we went around like this um, like tavern from like colonial days. And it was really interesting because like all of the history thus far had been like massively big picture. So it would all be things like, you know, the, the Lincoln statue, like the Washington statue. So it was really cool just seeing this like old tavern where like people stayed in the like, revolutionary era. And I had like lots of history about like what people ate, like the games they played, the food and stuff. And here's this one example of just like quite a silly game that we ended up spending quite a lot of time playing. But it was just like the one that was always played in the tavern and had been played so for hundreds of years. And it was just nice and small picture, nice and micro compared to everything else. Very macro. Look at how this great man led these thousands of people to victory, like, because that was really interesting. Um, and of course, there was also lots of good food. So ice cream, and then we went for barbecue. Well, ice cream, beers with some, like, crab dip thing, which was delicious. Um, and then went for barbecue in the evening afterwards. I would say my predominant thought of DC coming out of this day, where in the morning I kind of did all of the, like, massive, awe-inspiring sights. I not even did them, just, like, showed up in their vicinity and felt small standing next to them. Uh, and then in the afternoon I went to like a cute brunch place in a small market. It was like, it's very impressive that DC is a city which contains both of those things. Like, like if you think of like all of the government buildings in, in Westminster and Whitehall in London, they're all like necessarily designed to make you feel small and intimidated. Like, like they are there to show off power. Um, and obviously the same is true of, you know, White House, Capitol Hill, like all of this. But what did surprise me was that like, you just go like a couple of blocks away and you just have like very nice suburbia and like quaint houses and nice brunch places. Like, you know, like a like, kitschy market store where you can get silly plates. I did end up buying that revolutionary era plate, by the way, $3 well spent. Um, so I really like that about DC. Like, cause if you think like around Whitehall, it's all just like terrifying. Like it's, it's Pall Mall and all of these like Mayfair and all these places in London you'd never ever be able to live in. Whereas like DC is kind of weird cause you have like the city bit, which is or, like the, the, the uh, mall, which is the really cool bit in the middle. And then like immediately outside of that, you just have like kitschy bookstores. It's kind of like if you had like Westminster and then like next to Westminster, you just have Camden. It was really nice. Like I really like it. And then I also think, like, this is where I benefit from, like, being here, visiting locals, because I don't think I would have seen any of that otherwise, right? Like, if I was just, like, well, here by myself, like, I just kind of would have stayed in just the middle. Whereas, like, you know, it's been very nice visiting Cheyenne, because she'll be like, oh, yeah, we should go to, like, this brunch place or, like, this barbecue place. And it kind of takes me off a beaten path in a sense that I wouldn't otherwise, and definitely is appreciated.